This is how you use the audio feature in CapCut Desktop. All you have to do is go to the top left and click the second icon, which is audio. And over here, you will see tons of things that you could use. Now you're probably looking and you're like, why is there TikTok icons here? Like, why is there able to be music here? Well, that's because the company that owns CapCut is the same company that owns TikTok. And so they're able to source anything that's on TikTok to use here. Um, so that's why you have these original sounds. So I'm not connected to the internet right now. So don't worry about that. But essentially what you could do is you could click here, you could search for something um, and make sure that you're signed in. So when you're signed in, then you'll have more access to this um, because obviously it updates with, uh, with TikTok. Then on top of that, you also have your sound effects, which is really great because it's extremely difficult to find sound effects that you could use in your videos without having a copyright strike on YouTube or taking somebody's, um, you know, sound. And so with these royalty free sounds, you could just, you could just click that and then pop them here. And as you can see, it always, anything that's related to sound always goes under video, under the video layer. So what you do is you just pop it over here. And as you could see, there are, there's lines here. So these lines is essentially the waveform. And anytime you see this orange part, that essentially means that it is peaking. Peaking means that it is right at the top of uh, the sound and it shouldn't be that high. So for example, you may you may leave it here because you just want the, the audio as it is, but if you don't want any peaking at all, what you would do is you would grab this line that's usually showing and you would wait till you see the two arrows click and then pull down so now you won't see any peaking so if you were to see something that is like this this is too much it's peaking the entire way and is way too <clears throat> excuse me it's way too loud and most people would would not want this in in their headphones After that, you also have this, which is exporting, like you could import and it supports extracting uh, audio from video. So let's say that I import something, it'll only take the audio from that, um, from that clip. Um, and I think that's pretty useful for making custom sounds in CapCut. And that is how you use the audio section in CapCut Desktop.